Good morning, bird brains, and welcome back to another episode of Biking Bird Pit Stops. Today, we're doing a review on something I've gotten a lot of requests on, and that is my seat. The seat I currently have on the bike is the Lapera Maverick. Now, this seat is on the more expensive side. MSRP for this seat is $529. That's without shipping. It also has an optional backrest option that you can add on, but that one's going to run you about $762. But in this case, you are getting what you pay for. The Maverick measures 13 and a quarter inches wide on the driver's seat and 10 inches wide for the passenger. All right, so if you have a stock seat, chances are it looks something similar to this. Now, it's not such a bad looking seat in my opinion, but it's uncomfortable as hell, it's cheap, and you can't take your bitch on the back. So, that's the main reason why I upgraded my seat. Now, if you're worried about the installation of a seat, don't. So, this screw might look different on yours, but um, I mean, it'll still be a screw, probably a Phillips head. You undo that, place it somewhere else. And simply all you do is you lift up, push down, and pull out. That's it, I literally just did it with one hand. So if you worry about installation, don't be. So now that I have the stock seat off, let's um, take it over, compare it side by side to the Maverick. Okay, here we have the stock Harley seats. As you can see, it's cheap. You just got staples everywhere, exposed foam, cheap plastic underneath. The only thing that's metal on this whole seat is the mounting points up here right here where the middle bolt goes into, and then back here where you bolt it to your fender. Moving over to the LaPera Maverick seat, also want to point out this had about 4,000 miles on it when I took it off. This has about 2,000 miles on it. So this one is a little bit older, but you can see side by side, there is really no comparison. So comparing the stitching here, you can see these are very small stitches, very thin string, this is actually very thick uh, marine grade leather, very high quality stitching all around. And then if you actually look at the pan of the seat, it is all felt lined, so it's not going to scratch up your paint or anything like that. And it is all metal. You have an all metal pan across the entire length of the seat. You also have these rubber points also to help with the um, not scratch or anything. These actually sit on the tube of the bike right here. You can kind of see where mine have been sitting. That way to ensure better stability, you know, not gonna scratch up the frame or anything like that. Also, even the tongue that goes into the mounting points is wrapped in felt. You also have rivets instead of staples all the way around. And then of course, the uh, metal uh, mounting points. Flipping it over here. Now, of course, we are kind of comparing apples to oranges because this is a two-up seat, this being a solo seat, this being a two-up seat. But you can see more stitching within. You have a thick uh, seam right here and right here. This right here provides amazing back support for uh, the rider. And you've got the 10-inch seating pad with the same um, gel cushioning. Actually, I don't know if it's foam or gel, but uh, it's very thick regardless. Also, a much higher quality marine grade leather as opposed to this cheap i mean look at this i mean you shouldn't you shouldn't be able to grab the leather off of the seat like that and then really the only stitching it has is around the edges very cheap very soft foam uh, i mean i'm um, very hard foam i should say uh, not very comfortable at all prior to swapping out this seat for that seat i was only able to get maybe about eh, 70 miles if that on a bike before it got uncomfortable with this one the new lapera i can get about 150 before it even really starts to get uncomfortable so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and throw this one back on the bike and i'll show you some pros and cons of the actual seat itself all right so just to prove how easy this thing is to install I'm once again I'm gonna do it with one hand i gotta do is get that front tongue inside that lip and that's it just like that i'm gonna go ahead and get the thumb screw. I'll put a link down to this screw down in the description. Uh, like I said, this is not stock. This is aftermarket, but uh, this just allows you to take the seat on and off without having to get out a, a screwdriver. All right, so pros of the seats. Here you can kind of get a, a better look of it, how it looks on the bike. I love how it matches the line of the tank and really just really works along the bike's lines. The only pro I really have with it, and this isn't really for me, but for passengers, if you can see on the back how it kind of 
slopes down towards the back, that pretty much causes your passenger to be slipping off all the time. I think if they would have raised it up a little bit more like so, it would have been a much better seat for the passenger. But that extra lower um, back support on the actual seat is well worth it for the rider. So if you're doing a lot of two up rides, this might not be the seat for you. But if you just do occasional rides or if you've got a sissy bar or something like that on the bike, then that actually might work in your benefit. But this is overall a great seat. I would highly recommend it to any rider doing any sort of long rides on their Sportster. Uh, I tell people this is kind of the lazy boy of the Sportster seats because it kind of ruins the, the slim look, um, sort of, just kind of give you a, a side comparison. It is wider than the tank. So if you're going for that super slim, super bare bones look, maybe not the seat for you. Well guys, that's all I have to say about the Lapera Maverick. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. If you did like this video, please leave me a like. It really does help the channel out. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do put out about three to four videos per week mostly sportster centered. But as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.